Thank you, Jack. I would have finished dressing in my bedroom, but I couldn't quite reach. Yeah, well, at least you have a bedroom. You know, I'm tired of sleeping in this lab like an old pooch. Speaking of which, help me with my leash, will you? Yes, well, perhaps if you stop acting like a dog, I might consider remodeling. What's that supposed to mean? It means I heard you and your tavern maid chasing each other around the living room last night. Yeah, well, if I had my own room, you wouldn't have heard a thing. Besides, she's just a friend. <laughs> no, that's true. I have a rule. Never bring a date home. It keeps the fatal attractions down to a minimum. Well, I suppose you're not all to blame. Any woman foolhardy enough to share a bed with you can't be entirely balanced. Depends which position we're in. <laughs> oh, it's ready. Hey, you dry clean my cape. That's swell. Hold it up, would you? I may have missed a spot. <sighs> Since when are you packing heat? Just this once for my little demonstration. I've coated your cape with a malleable titanium solution. What's an iron bulletproof? Oh, in a manner of speaking. It can only handle so much wear and tear, but should come in handy in emergencies. Now, come along. The governor has a surprise planned for us tonight. Yeah, I'll be right with you. Just gotta change my shorts. Emilia! Jacques! How kind to accept my invitation at such short notice. Oh, it's our pleasure, Governor. It's been so long since we had a visit, I was beginning to think we'd fallen out of favor. <laughs> oh, nonsense, madame. Your absence has merely made the heart grow fond. Mm -hmm. Gee, Brogard, if I knew you were supplying the cheese tonight, I would have brought wine. Allow me. Madame Rothschild, Monsieur Styers, you remember my brother, Le Supreme Empereur de France, Napoleon Bonaparte. Emperor, as always, it is an honor. <laughs> hey, slap me some skin, Nappy. Oh, what brings you to Palau Palau, Your Highness? I need a screw. <laughs> Please, asseyez-vous. We have invited you here to sample the very first bottle of wine from the Bonaparte family vineyard. It shall be called the Grapes of Wrath, the essence of Napoleon. So I didn't know you were brewing your own juice on the island. The vineyards have been kept secret to keep the competition from acts of uh, viticultural espionage. We were hoping that a woman of your exquisite taste, Emilia, could give us a fair review of our Cabernet. It would be my pleasure. Four gracious guinea pigs. Amelia. Jack. Jack and Amelia. Well, <laughs> down the hatch. What's shaking him? <laughs> Coffee? I'm in the nude. 
and you're in the nude. And we were both in bed in the nude. Yeah, I noticed. And not that I was trying to notice, you understand? It's just that it's kind of noticeable. I can't believe this is happening. I don't even remember what happened last night. Um, let's see, we were, um, we were at the governor's mansion. Yeah, Napoleon was there. Wait a minute, he asked us to sample some of his new wine. That must be it. We, we became inebriated, came home intoxicated, and mistakenly fornicated. We didn't even date. Oh, God. I wish I were dead. Hey, I'm starting to take this personally. How bad could I have been? Jack, you promise me you will not share our indiscretion with another soul. Hey, okay by me. Business as usual. Just friends. Strictly platonic. Oh, God. Something else just occurred to me. If we were fool enough to... You know, then... Imagine what we did in front of the Emperor. Oh, that's a good point. For all we know, we were dirty dancing to the French anthem. We must find Napoleon at once and make sure we didn't embarrass ourselves. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I, um... I have to get dressed, so, um... Turn away. Boy, you really must have attacked me. Don't you even start with me, Jack! My life is over. Okay. Now I'm officially embarrassed. Well, brother, it seems you have found a most intriguing way to crush the grapes. Wait till you see how I handle the melons. I hope we're not intruding, Emperor, but your staff informed us that you'd be here at the vineyard and we wanted to thank you for um, a wonderful evening. Sure was, wasn't it? I was just telling my brother that we would love to see more of you. But then again, there's not much more to see. <laughs> <clears throat> Emilia, I always knew that Jacques was a naughty little monkey. I had no idea that you were so inclined. Emperor, Governor, we, we throw ourselves at your mercy. Whatever happened last night will never happen again. We meant no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, uh, what she said. You mean you don't remember anything? Oh, it's a thick fog up there, Liana. Thick, dense fog. Excellent. I mean, no need to worry, right, Croak? A little of what you fancy does you no know, harm. Everyone gets a little tipsy now and again. I assure you, you are still held in the highest regards by the French Empire. <coughs> <laughs> Look, all in all, I'd say there's no harm done. No harm done? We've become fodder for bathroom scrawl, and we can't even remember why. Well, look at the bright side. At least we'll go down in history. Oh, going down for getting down isn't exactly my idea of an epitaph. <laughs> well, for once, I'm not the only dog in the doghouse. Uh, although I'm hardly blameless in this matter, Jack, uh, I'm quite sure that it was you who took advantage of the situation. Hold on there, sister. How do you know you weren't barking up my tree? Because I'm not the type to go out on a limb, especially yours. Amelia, for Pete's sake, how hard is it to admit that you got human impulses just like everybody else? Well, it's easy for you to say, Jack. You prance around the streets and men think, oh, look, there goes the stud. I walk around and think, open all night. I think you're being too hard on yourself. Look, we're not the first people who wound up bumping cheeks just because we threw back one too many. You know, come to think of it, we were the only ones drinking last night. I don't recall Napoleon sampling the wine. It's the same with Croak and Brogarn. Maybe there's something screwy with that hooch. I think we should go and find out. Oh, I sure hate these harvest festivals. All right, the Emperor wants you to crush the entire vat. And I do not expect him to be disappointed. 
Vite, 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 vite season's harvest will be crushed on schedule. Excellent. You finally did something right, little brother. I live only to hear your words of praise, brother. Don't let it go to your head.